Hello everyone and welcome to Usability. Today we are going to see how to play Identity V on PC using the amazing Blue Stacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Identity V and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Blue Stacks 5, which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Identity versus so without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else my friends, the first thing to do is to open our favorite browser. We open the one we prefer. Let's continue, going to the current URL I have highlighted in green. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. You don't need to type it, because I added the link in the video description and the first main comment. After we click on this link, we land here on the website of BlueStacks. Which the Android emulator that we will run to play Identity V on our PC. It is now obvious that we get some pros of running that emulator. So we are ready to start downloading the Identity V by clicking on the button play on blue stacks that you can visualize here in green. We then click on the button. Of course, the download takes no time at all. Voila, this is the download. It's an executable file. What we have to do now is to run the executable file, so we need to click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow modifications to the system. We said yes. I reduced the internet browser to find the installation software better. The installation software is very simple. It contains a couple of choices, install, and setup path. I am going to explain what setup path actually does. We purely simply click on it. Therefore we realize that we have now here the path where the emulator will be installed. If we have to vary this directory we are required to click on the browse option, so we select another directory and install the emulator wherever we desire. To keep it simple, just leave it as it is. Then, I click on back. Therefore I just click install. Fantastic. The setup begins and it is going to move forward together with the download of these MB that happens to be displayed on the computer screen. As you save it on your hard disk, it might possibly be more or less megabytes. The download rate could go faster or slower, subject to your connection and according to the speed capacity of the emulator servers. At the moment they're running quite fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With BlueStacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, BlueStacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At this time, the emulator happens to be started immediately. As you can see now, at the bottom of the screen, there's a progress bar which will advance to the right and when it gets into the finish, the emulator will be launched for the very first time. Indeed the emulator is already started, there for the first time. Before we keep going, as now you can see, it has created a couple of icons here on the PC desktop. The BlueStacks and BlueStacks Multi Instance. Note that the BlueStacks app icon is going to be the one we're interested in. Anytime we choose to operate Identity V on the PC, we double click on this particular app icon and start the emulator. The BlueStacks Multi Instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with BlueStacks 5's new improved Multi Instance Manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Let me make the following step, which is actually a must, and that is to begin to browse the Google Play Store. To execute this we will go there to, System Apps, we click on, and we'll mouse click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is started. Right here we must sign in. Presently the moment we're right here, we are required to do this next phase which is absolutely mandatory. So we just click on, Sign In. At present it shows, Checking Info. It could in some cases get stuck in, Checking Info, and it isn't going to proceed. In this case, you should attempt to connect to your account after a few hours and it will very likely be corrected. At present we can insert our username and password. The email must be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. As an example you can use the very same email address you are using at this moment in your YouTube account. Therefore I will provide my information and I will revisit after I have accomplished it. That's all, information typed in. Discover Google welcoming us and supplying us the terms of service. We would approve them all by clicking on, I agree. Then, it make us possible to save to the Google Cloud. You might leave a check that's going to generate a backup of the files on that device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you can utilize this feature if you want. We click accept. Google Play, formerly Android Market, is started automatically and immediately. To install the game, we are required to browse the emulated desktop for Android by clicking on the icon designated green colored. Currently that we are exploring the desktop of this emulator for Android, we notice that we now have here the install app game option. We then click on the button. At this point we come with the game app. Let's quickly click on here on the install link that I'm highlighting now in green color. This will launch the software installation. Right now it should download on your PC and set up the game app. It may take a bit of time or it may just be amazingly quickly. This all relies on our connection to the internet. It's actually finished setting up. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by clicking this particular button I'm highlighting in green in order to run Identity V for the very first time. 
You are by then on the emulator desktop, and we're going to simply click the new Identity V software icon which was created. Your Android game is started for the first time. Now there we have it, I can mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I have to discuss the volume level of that emulator. It's here, we have the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume, this way we don't depend on the Microsoft Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of the emulator. As well as to take pleasure in the experience to the maximum, we should turn on the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. That is actually the first one, we mouse click on this icon which I am basically pointing out in green. Then the monitor is maximized, coming with one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. In case that we like to experience the app in full screen, we click on that game icon. And we might at present be experiencing and enjoying the game app in full screen mode. To escape the 100% screen functionality, press the F11 key. And we'd at present play in regular computer screen mode. From now, I am on the way to present you the keys mapping which is surprisingly exciting. This way we may be ready to utilize the video game much more effortlessly. The very first thing is to click this app icon. And at this time there you will have the ability to get the appropriate adjustments. I am going to put the normal configuration, though if you want to adjust that, you can also do this without any problem. Perhaps you have realized, the emulator is fully in our own language. Once in a while it occurs that the emulator is launched in the improper language, for example, in Chinese. And so to place it in the proper language we go there to the cogwheel. And thus there inside of various other configurations, we click on that language, drop down. We are able to go for the language we need, English, Mandarin, etc. After the language is determined, we should save, the emulator would restart, and also the game app, the next time we run it, will of course be in the preferred language. So now, you will find another element that we need to take into account, and it is that we will get an email saying that a different device has been associated with our own Google account. It will likely ask us if we are the ones who have associated with that electronic device. Indeed, we shouldn't get worried, considering the fact that emulator is acting as a Google Android tablet or smartphone. And in order to determine which smartphone or tablet is currently being emulated, we arrive here, to the cogwheel, and we mouse click on it. So we browse here to the, model, choice. And there we discover that the emulator is emulating a Samsung smartphone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for that video tutorial. I believe you liked it, specifically that you found it handy. In this case, offer it a pleasant like, subscribe to the channel, and if you have remarks, concerns or suggestions, let them in the comment area down below. Just click any of those online videos that are appearing on the suggestion of videos to watch and let's have fun again in the following video game videos. Bye.